guys and welcome back to Sparkle Be Pink. My name is Michelle and today I'm going to be showing you how to get a no makeup makeup look or like a five minute fast makeup kind of thing. Now surprisingly a lot of the products that I'm going to be showing you guys today are pretty new to my collection and I've been trying them out all week so I've gotten a good grasp of whether I like them or not and I've been really impressed with them which is why I'm so excited to share with you guys. So let's get started on this really quick five minute no makeup makeup tutorial. Starting off with a clean, fresh face, I applied a little bit of my favorite moisturizer, and I'm going to start off by applying the Neutrogena Tone Correcting Long Wear Nourishing Foundation. This formula is pretty thick, so it has a top kind of like the Revlon Color Stays, and I just like to pat it onto my skin like so. using my fingers with this formula it just blends into your skin so nicely and when I'm in a rush I don't like using a million brushes anyway I usually just dabble it on my fingers and go it gives a pretty medium coverage so I'm gonna go in in just specific areas and touch up where I need a little bit more coverage This foundation feels so good on the skin. Like it doesn't feel heavy or like I'm wearing makeup at all. And I, I'm just really, really impressed with it. I've been loving it. I don't usually like lighter formulas and foundations and coverages and stuff. I usually go for like a full coverage look, but this is amazing. Now I do still have some spots and redness poking through. So I'm just going through with a little bit of concealer to cover those all up. I like to go in and set the whole look with a translucent powder. This is the one by Neutrogena and it is a shine control one because I have quite oily skin and I feel like it just sets everything and keeps everything staying put. Once all the makeup has been set, I like to go in and warm up my face with a light dusting of blush and a little bit of bronzer just down the sides of my cheeks and under my chin, tops of the forehead, and just kind of warm up the whole look. Now for the eyes, we're gonna keep it super, super simple. And with a light dusting in the crease of a medium warm brown shade, this just sort of gives your eyes a little more dimension and a little bit of an extra oomph rather than just a flat kind of beige color. I'm just blending this in very gently with no harsh lines at all. Then with the Neutrogena Nourishing Eyeliner in the shade Spiced Chocolate, it is a self-sharpening pencil with a little rubber smudge kind of tip on the end. I'm going to stay very close to the lash line, but just very roughly apply it on the outer corner and on the bottom lower lash line. Then with the rubber edge, I'm just gently sort of dragging the product and smoking it out a bit, just making it a little less harsh and very soft. I really love this. It's not like a sponge or anything, so it just kind of lightly drags the product for you. I then like to line the upper water line. This just adds a little more volume to your lashes and the bottom water line. This eyeliner doesn't stick too well to the water line, but I'm okay with that because I want it to be very soft and gentle. And then finishing off the eyes with the Neutrogena Healthy Volume Mascara. I am in love with this brush. It is big, it's bushy, it's not one of those synthetic ones. It's kind of like got those hair bristles and I just kind of like blink through it a couple times, give it a little wiggle on the ends just very lightly. You can use the tip because it kind of tapers off here at the end to really get in there and get specific lashes and just like lengthen them up and I'm just in love with this mascara. It gives kind of a wispy natural look which is exactly what we're going for here. Little wiggle on the bottom lashes. I just wanted to show you real quick close up of the mascara. I've just really been loving it. I'm super surprised by it. I feel like 
this eyeliner and this mascara make this look very unique in the fact that the eyeliner is super smudgeable. The smudgeability of this eyeliner is just fantastic for getting a very soft, sort of smoky look without being too harsh. I did my makeup but didn't do my makeup kind of look and that's exactly why I picked the brown shade for this. And then the mascara is just light and wispy and natural and I really am loving the combo together for this look. Now to finish it off, I have a new favorite. Like literally I am obsessed with this. It is the Neutrogena Moisture Stick in shade Juicy Peach. I believe it's the lightest shade. Shocker that I would go with a really light, you know, peachy shade and it is just gorgeous it has a little bit of a shimmer in like the bottle but you don't see that I don't know it just oh it glides on so perfectly and it's just like this gorgeous like natural pinky peach color that I'm just in love with And it's very soft and buttery and it just feels so good and moisturizing and I want to go back and get a couple more colors of this because I've been really loving it that much. I almost forgot to conceal under my eyes and pick something that's a little bit emollient so it just sort of sits on top and you might have to set it a little bit with the shine powder. This one is a little bit too emollient for my taste but just brightening up that under eye really changes the whole thing. Like I'll leave this one and I'll just do this side. So now I'm going to set it with the shine control powder with a light dusting brush. So as you can see this side is just a little bit brighter whereas this one looks a little more sunken in and tired so let's go ahead and brighten that one up too. So that is it for this no makeup makeup challenge. A very natural, light, airy, very breathable look. I have been loving this in hot weather or it would be perfect for back to school when you're waking up late and gotta get up and get ready and you don't wanna be doing a whole face. Um, I feel like it is a full face cause you are doing a foundation, a concealer, a blush and all that stuff. But it's not heavy. It's very light, very quick. I feel like you could just totally apply this with all of your fingers and get it on, get out the door in five minutes, and you still look like yourself, but just a little bit brighter, a little bit happier, a little peppier, more awake. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Let me know by giving a thumbs up and a comment below. Let me know which product is your favorite. My personal favorite is definitely the lip balm and the smudgeability of the eyeliner. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out my blog at sparklemepink.com and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!